I'm Michael Brower, I'm a urologist, and I work for a company named GTX, which is uh, headquartered in Memphis, Tennessee. And GTX is developing new therapies for prostate cancer. GTX has just initiated a new clinical trial, the TREAT-2 trial, of torimiphene 80 milligram for prevention of fractures in men with advanced prostate cancer. Please tell us about this trial. One of the most common approaches for the treatment of advanced prostate cancer is to lower the male testosterone, which can be achieved either by surgically removing the testicles or by giving drugs such as Luprolide or Zolodex or Eligard. And these are injectable medications that lower the testosterone or the male hormone. And this is very effective in causing a shrinkage of the prostate cancer and oftentimes resulting in a reduction of the vast majority of the cancers. Now the goal of castration is to lower the serum testosterone, the male hormone. But what happens when a male is castrated, he lo we lower the testosterone, but with that we also lower the level of estrogens. And the reasons for that is in the man, estrogens come from a conversion of testosterone to estrogen. Well, if you lower the testosterone, you have less of what we call the substrate to make estrogen. And the side effects or the toxicity of hormonal therapy include both the side effects of lowering the testosterone, but also the reduction of the estrogen. And in lowering the estrogen level, we get commonly hot flashes or a sense of flushing. We can get changes in the male breasts that can cause enlargement or tenderness. But very importantly, we can get loss of bone density, your bone strength, a condition that we call osteopenia or osteoporosis. And this loss of bone strength or density is associated oftentimes with fracture. And fractures are important because a fracture in an older man has a very high uh, mortality or cause of death. So we need to prevent the fractures in men on ADT. Now, GTX has just completed a pivotal phase three trial with a drug known as torimiphene, 80 milligram, which is a very interesting molecule that has differing estrogen or anti-estrogenic effects in different tissues. So for example, in the prostate or in the breast, torimiphene 80 milligrams reduces the tissue or in a way reduces the amount of tumor potentially. But in the bone, very importantly, torimiphene actually restores bone health. And what we showed in this very large trial that was done in the United States and Mexico is that tremophene 80 milligrams caused a 50% decrease in spine fractures compared to the men that received the sugar pill or the placebo. Now we're about to embark on another trial, TREAT2. TREAT stands for tremophene for the reduction of fractures and estrogen uh, deficiency side effects in men on antigen deprivation therapy. And this very large trial will start toward the end of this year. It will be done not only in the United States, but also in Canada, Latin America, and uh, several nations in Europe. And it's a trial where 2,400 men will receive either tremophene 80 milligrams or a sugar pill, a placebo in a trial that will last up to three years to see if we, as we anticipate, will replicate the prevention of fractures and also decrease some of the other bothersome side effects of reduction of estrogens, including breast changes and uh, pain and uh, hot flashes. What are the eligibility criteria for this new torimiphene clinical trial? The entry criteria are what men need to have to get onto this trial, which will be conducted in about 150 sites in the United States, is they have to be a man with a diagnosis of prostate cancer. They have to have had at least six months of androgen deprivation therapy. 
and they have to have a, uh, some loss of their bone density on a very simple x-ray-like uh, study that tells us the bone density. And also, in this trial, it will be restricted to men under age 80. Other than that, the, the vast majority of men will be eligible for this trial. We anticipate uh, investigative sites really throughout the United States, so any patient is going to be able to find a site that's doing the TREAT2 trial. And they, patients that are interested can log on to a website, www.gtxclinicaltrials.com. Again, www.gtxclinicaltrials.com. And that'll give the patient information. We'll be, they'll be able to see where local sites are. And um, uh, hopefully a number of patients will find this uh, appealing to them. And certainly this will help us understand and uh, evaluate whether terimiphene 80 milligrams, as we fully anticipate, will be effective in this very important condition that arises quite frequently in men on antigen deprivation therapy. How long do you think it will take to accrue enough patients for this study? Well, we're anticipating a one-year accrual. That is, all the patients will be enrolled within one year of when we start the trial, which we're anticipating doing toward the end of this year. If this study is successful, will terimiphene compete with other marketed therapies? There are other agents that have been uh, shown to improve bone density and prevent fractures in women. Unfortunately, until this, there are no studies that definitively show a prevention of fractures in men on ADT.